Hey everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. I actually am going to be starting my 12 days of Christmas. Now, I know I told you everyone that I was having another day of fall Thanksgiving theme cards. And then I realized what time of year it was. So I decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and jump right into Christmas. And this is my first project of my 12 days for Christmas. It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful for quick, fast, stamp-a-stack style, mass-produced Christmas cards. So let's get started. What are we going to need today? Set this off to the side. We're going to start with a piece of... Ah, you guys see the background? I'm actually flipping it. So the background's going to be real red, and the top piece is going to be whisper white this time. The first time it was whisper white, thick whisper white, and then real red on top of that. But we're going to switch it to see how I like it. Um, and give you guys another option. So real red cardstock. It's four and a quarter inches wide, 11 inches tall. Um, just basically take your eight and a half by 11, cut it smack down in the middle. Score it at five and a half. Grab yourself a bone folder. Now, bone folder, not necessary, but if you like them, they're awesome. All right, that's your card base. Set that aside. Then you are going to need a piece of now, in reality, you're going to need two of these, one for the inside and one for the outside, but we're only doing the outside today. You are going to need a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to stamp on it using Ghoulish Grunge. So you guys remember from my 13 days of Halloween, I said we were going to use Ghoulish Grunge again for Christmas. Well, here it is. And we're going to be using it a couple of times, I think. So we're going to be using the brick pattern again because, well, let's face it, I love it. And we're also going to be using on Whisper White, actually I'm just going to tell you the stamp sets we're using in general. We're going to be using Cookie Cutter Christmas. And we are using this stamp up here that says Warm Heartfelt Greetings for a Very Merry Christmas. We're going to be stamping that somewhere. <laughs> so that's going to be my greeting. Now you can always take the greeting off the front of the card and put it on the inside if you wish. Or you can add an extra greeting to the inside if you wish. Um, also from this Cookie Cutter Christmas, we are going to be using the Santa as well as the little Santa I'm going to call them pom-pom up there, or fluff ball, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, we're going to be using that as well today. Okay, we're done. We need real red ink. Go ahead and open up your real red. Because what's Christmas out? It's some real red. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ink up our lovely brick. Make sure it's all nice and inked up. And if you guys remember back to the brick um, vampire card, it was not Frankenstein, by the way. Thank you for whoever pointed that out to me. Um, we're going to do this basic, same basic technique. So we're going to stamp one little higher than center. Straight down, straight up. And then one a little lower. I like it. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're done with that. And there we go. Haha. <laughs> I already mounted up our warm, heartfelt Christmas greetings here. And we're going to stamp that up here in the corner. And I'm going to use my grid paper to line it up. I'm hoping I'm going to stamp straight. And if I don't, I'm just going to re-stamp the brick pieces. So if my head gets in the camera, I'm so sorry, but I can't see. So we're going to try to do this as straight as possible. And straight down, straight up. Now, if you're using photopolymer and you not always like in the way that they stamp, um, go ahead and slide your paper piercing mat underneath it, and it will work for you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, we have all of that done. We're going to go ahead and close up our real red ink. And we are going to grab in an extra piece of Whisper White paper. We are not watercoloring on this, so you don't need it to be thick Whisper White or anything. It just needs to be Whisper White. Now, I believe my directions say your Whisper White should be two by about three and a half. I think mine's a smidge smaller than that. It really just needs to be a scrap large enough to stamp on your Santa Claus or whichever one of your cookie cutter characters you're wishing to put on today. Um, I'm grabbing in my Memento ink because it comes off photopolymer a little bit better than the others. I think this actual piece of paper might be a smidge small, but it works for my purpose. So you really only need a scrap of Whisper White. So I'd say somewhere around two, two and a half inches. I mean, mine's two and it fits. So go ahead and just 
stamp him straight down and straight up. Perfect. Don't forget his little pom-pom. We're going to do that in black as well. And I put that up in a corner and just give, give it enough space around it that you can, you know, punch it out. <laughs> um, go ahead and set all that stuff aside. Now we're going to grab a real red marker. Now in the Christmas catalog, they actually have a pack of, um, with the real red and crumb cake. Beautiful. It comes with candy cane lane, um, designer series, paper sweet. Um, awesome. But we're also going to be using a basic black marker. Now, if you guys don't actually have a basic black marker, a black pen works, um, black Sharpie works, all that kind of stuff. But make sure you grab your real red and we're going to color him in, in his suit coat real quick. All right, let's see if I can do this fast and not mess up too bad. So I hope everybody is getting ready for their Thanksgiving season and I hope it's really wonderful. There we go. So part of my 12 days of Christmas this year, I'm going to be not just be doing cards, but I'm also going to be doing um, some gift giving things. So like packaging things. And you guys have already seen a tag as well as an actual scrapbook from me as well. Um, I always encourage you guys to ask questions and things like that. So if anybody ever has any questions for me, please let me know. I would be happy to answer them. Um, the best of my abilities and I know if I can't answer them I can always find somebody who can um, I've got an amazing upline just in paper crafting in general I just you know I love it and I have some really great contacts so if anybody ever has any questions about anything you know all that fun stuff I'm always here okay so we colored in his real redness oh wait forgot his hat all right now, if you guys got out your watercolors and you wanted to do this in watercolors with your ink or your blender pen, that would also work. This is actually like the most time consuming part of this entire Santa. Now, if you decided to stamp him actually on real red and just color the white parts, that might be a little bit faster for you. I have no idea. So now I'm coloring his belt all black. I'm leaving that outside belt buckle itself because that's typically silver. Coloring everything else black. Oh, got a cell phone going off in the background over here. And there we go. Coloring his boots as well. Okay. There we go. He's all done. So, you guys ready for the next part? Grab your cookie cutter builder punch. Now this punch is going to punch out everything. So we're going to start by taking and punching out the Santa. So take your Santa, line him up. As I said, my paper's a little small, I think. There it goes. Maybe. I also apparently didn't stamp him straight. Get him lined up there in the center. Eh, he's crooked, he's crooked. There we go. As good as I would think I'm going to get them. Maybe not. There we go. Punch him out. Okay. Then hold on to it. And you see your like little pom-pom there? And you have little eyes, or what I think are supposed to be eyes. We're going to use one of those, and we're going to punch out the pom-pom. All right. Now I would send the pom-pom flying everywhere if I didn't do that. <laughs> all right. So he's all nice and punched out. You're done with your cookie cutter builder punch. Now your cookie cutter builder punch actually comes, um, grab our dimensionals here, um, comes as part of a bundle with your cookie cutter Christmas. And that's, you know, your Santa, your reindeer, your Eskimo, your teddy bear, um, and gingerbread man. I had to remember who else was in there. All right, so I put five, I stick one in the middle because I don't want to forget the middle. And I want to stick one on the back of him. So we're gonna, that was dimensionals by the way, grabbed our dimensionals. <laughs> Pop off the back of all of these. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm slaying that flat and trying, attempting to center. Can't guarantee I'm actually going to center. That's pretty good, there you go. I'm gonna take one 
on him. Ooh, I'm liking this in red, guys. Now, you can either use a dab of liquid glue or, in my case, a glue dot. I'm going to use a glue dot because it's faster for me than a dab of glue. And I don't like waiting for things to dry. And then just pop his little pom-pom on. And there you have your really fast, cute, fun Christmas card. You know the really weird thing is? I think I like it in red better. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So please let me know if you guys enjoyed. Tell me which one you guys like better. Let me see what you guys create. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. This is Mel from Cardstock Concoction saying, see you guys next time. Bye.